Hey guys, can you see me? Can you hear me? Hello everyone. Good evening. Am I audible and visible? If so, say me a hi. Am I? I hope I'm audible and visible. So let's start discussing. See, this is a very extempo presentation. We're just going to discuss whatever to be done for the upcoming NEET PG 2024 exams. Just give me a second. And what are you going to plan for, right? Hello, you drug of choice. Hope you're doing good. Okay, so I'm just going to talk the real truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'll be talking whatever is required from for you from an exam point of view and what you should prepare. See, first of all, I would consider this need PG as a war, right? Because you're going to a war and we are all the amazing warriors and I hope every one of you will come out successful, right? The first thing for any competitive exam in the last moment, your focus is not more towards reading. Your focus should be more towards streamlining your day. Because I'll tell you the most important thing in an exam is not what you do in the last month, not how many hours you read in the last month. That's not important because last few weeks will not decide anything in your hand. I'll be very, very honest about that. I'll be very open about that. What is important in the last month is how I'm going to make sure I prepare myself for the exam, right? So this was the INICT. How many of you guys here wrote INICT? Can you say yes, no? So this is what happened during INICT. The exam started at 9 a.m. The entry of the exam had from 7 to 8.30 and the reporting started at 6.30 a.m., right? This is a bit early, but I think your need PG also starts at 9 a.m., right? Uh, you didn't write so need PG starts at 9 a.m. till 12.30, uh, right? So it's three and a half hour exam, right? So here, the biggest challenge here is if you guys sleep for, let's say, at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, how many of you sleep uh, after 12 o'clock? A and J. How many of you guys slept after 12 o'clock? Uh, still now sleep after 12 o'clock. Good evening, Lydia. That is the biggest red flag for me. If you're still sleeping after 12 o'clock and waking up early in the morning at 8 o'clock, please don't expect that you will perform well in exam. Because for performing well in the exam, the most important thing is you need a very clear mind, right? Lydia, I want you to please uh, sleep at 10 o'clock. That's That should be the goal here, right? Because if you sleep at 2 or after 12, you cannot be active from 6 a.m. No one in this world can be active at 6 a.m., right? That's truth. That's how it is, right? So it's not for you, for not for me alone, for everyone in the world, you need a peaceful eight hours of sleep, right? So from today onwards, whatever said and done, I want you to throw the mobile phone, throw whatever reading material you have in the dustbin after 10 p.m. 10 p.m. later on, please don't read anything. Just close your eyes, put a song, listen to it, and maybe do that, right? I want you to close your day around 10, 10.30 so that I want you to get used to in this next one month. The only goal here is to get used to the exam so that you will do whatever you've read for the past six, seven months, right? So because this is how the entire thing is going to be. Including this, I have the travel. You have to go from your home or to your hostel or wherever you stay till the exam center, right? That also is there. So your day will start very, very early in your exam, right? Ishan, uh, all night is required, but I would say not in the last month because that will derail everything and uh, you might read well. I'm not denying that point at all in the night, but once you do, don't do correct it now, it'll be very difficult for you to correct in the last week and nothing happens in a week, right? So we have easily three weeks there. So in this three weeks, please make your routine first. That's the most important thing. Reading is secondary now, right? Because the last one week, last one month, reading is not the primary thing. Get used to for your exams. St sleep at 10 or 10.30 maximum. Wake up at 6 and so that this routine becomes normal. And if you are giving a GT in whichever platform it is, I want you to give the GT at same this timing. So I get used to this timing over the period of time because 9 to 12.30 is your exam in APG. So in this time, I want you to solve questions. So you are, you are training your mind for the next one month. That's all. Be it solving any question, start at 9 or 12.30. So by default, you get your mind straight, okay, I'm going to do this, right? So this is the first thing for all exam going aspirants. If you have your friends who's writing for the exam, your colleagues, senior, junior, please tell them to streamline their day first. That's the most important and the priority now, not reading. So once you've done this, the next second thing here is, over the period of year, what you have taken care of is we have taken care of like uh, sitting for uh, three and a half hours, writing 200 exam in a single thing, right? So if you if you guys are not given INICT, I'm sure you must know this by, by this time, you have this split. You have five sessions of 40 questions each with 42 minutes. So this I have to get trained, right? So PW has an EPG Titans exam where you have three tests. All these three will be free. 
and all of them will have the same five section 40 question rule and everything will be in 42 minutes so three is more than enough in the next month sit for the exam you download the app or uh, give it in the web if you have a laptop i would prefer giving it in the website because that's what you, your real exam is also right so 31st may to 2nd june you have one and 7th to uh, 9th june and 14th to 16th june so this is this also will get you sorted so that you will be able to give you will be able to practice the same way you'll be giving for the exam three practice in the next three weeks is more than enough for you and definitely if they have any other source to use it use that also right don't overload this time three four max not beyond that right so but this is very important because entire thing has changed i want to, us to get tuned so that we perform well in the exam right this is more important then we'll come to reading so how do we read in the last one week like what to do in the last one month we have maybe approximately 20 25 days so what to do for that fine so this is what i have done a brief oh birds i view of everything okay ishan i'll take your query see now as of now right in the last one month i don't want you to have a goal for gt this is for everyone who's preparing for an exam because if you have a goal for gt if you don't perform well that should i uh, you'll perform well if you don't perform well you will go into a negative thoughts and kind of saying that oh i'm not going to do well so in the last one month your focus for the gt is only two am i able to sit through the five sections 40 question each able to complete it as a first goal second goal if am i able to sit through the entire three and a half hours in front of a screen please don't pause go for a restroom have a bite of a, uh, have a coffee and then come back and write it that's the two important thing in this one month for gt then don't look at the rank look at the wrong negatives so that the goal here this one month is to improve yourselves when you start comparing by default i'm not telling you alone for me also when i start comparing by default i kind of get low right so rank might be important in the exam the next one month just let's improve ourselves right so if you have like 400 500 scores if you want to improve just imagine like first gt i got this much next gt let me take it to 450 next gt let me take to 550 that should be the goal don't compare it the main month so that this one month this is the goal of the gt right previously would have been a different goal but close to the exam don't change it the goal is to sit through the gt so that you are happy you come outside you did some mistakes learn from the mistake that's more than enough fine okay sure okay now how to read so take till june 20th 18th i just put a rough table you can modify it accordingly i wanted to give 1.5 days for medicine surgery og and patho and pharma Patho and Pharma, I'm giving 1.5 days because it's a base for most of the clinical questions. That's the reason I'm giving 1.5 days. And SARPO, Skin, Anesthesia, Radiology, Psychiatry, Orthopedics, FMT, EMT, Ophthal. I'll give it half a day because the older pattern, I hope the same pattern will be continued. And the amount of questions is this, is almost equal to same. So give half a day for that. And add Physio Micro, the rest of it, give one day. So once you do this, what do you want to do? So obviously, once you, you must have made your notes, you must have got to have your notes by this time. Read them completely revise them after revision you have in this in the same channel what you are you have one neat pg uh, i'll come to it sir, sorry you have uh, neat pg pyq sessions for every subject one video or two videos so let's say that you have revised medicine okay i want you to go and re see the youtube thing somewhere around eight to nine in the night or put it in uh, like 10x 1x 2x of speed and just skip it through so that you have revised and also the videos will contain all the pyts so it's done with same thing do for surgery same thing do for medicine i have three videos focused for neat pg one we have already had the image based question discussion and then we'll have one more image based question discussion for the rest of it in the next tomorrow and i have a pyt topic related thing that's up for pathology right so read pathology then take care of it it's free on youtube right and one important thing i'm just going to ask you a question how many of you when you start a video on seeing on YouTube, an educational video, you get diverted and go to something else. Lydia, the mock what will be there in PYT will be more or less in the pattern of the need PG in equal distribution of PYQs and new things as well. So if you're getting distracted, so I start with the video, I'm getting distracted. There is an, uh, this is not an educational thing. There's an extension called as unhook which you can install in your google chrome so it will remove all the unwanted things no recommendations you will see only the video what you want to see right so that you can don't get distracted right so use this this is an extension freely available on google chrome 
install it so all the unwanted thing goes away only the video what you search for will be available fine okay great so now let's come to service visit question so this is the rough timetable here if this is a rough timetable here what should i do first what should i do last so saraswati it's not a general pattern i want you to do this so what i want you to do this is if you have see you must have known that some subjects might be easy for you some subjects might be very difficult for you it's subjective if you ask me for me anatomy and ophthalmology are the difficult subject right so the difficult subject i want you to do it last so that it's in very recent memory the easy subjects do it first when you start doing an easy subject it gives you a sense of happiness also that you're able to complete it in the stipulated time someone asked that how do i complete in the stipulated time if you start with an easy subject definitely you'll complete in the stipulated time right and whatever subject it is two 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 hours eight hours a day that's more than enough to revise your notes if you've done a revision already that's more than enough stick to it you have like medicine i have like 10 systems in medicine keep one hour for one system 10 hours that's all extra whatever is there read it in the next half a day and then go to the youtube right so that that's how the plan should be fine so i hope uh Sarasri, that will answer your question so who is preparing now this is a rough timetable modify and put the days which is easy for you like let's say medicine is easy for you read it first gynecology is easy for you read it first orthopedics difficult read it last right so whichever is easy for you read it first and whichever you feel is difficult it's not a set pattern read it last so that it's a reason memory right and i hope anhu will help you to remove all the unwanted videos and re let's focus on the reading right and the most important for anyone who's preparing for the exam tell them to make sure they align their day that is the most important thing because you are, i i'm 100 percent sure you've been working very hard for the past six seven months that seven months of hard work should not get derailed just because you wanted to read more and achieve more that's not humanly possible right Align your day, wake up at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock at the latest and sleep at 10.30. So in the next one month, you align that and use this source to give the exam in the same pattern and hopefully all the variables for all of you, you'll do well. If you have any questions to ask me, let me know. We'll discuss it. Uh, else we'll sign off and uh, you have 6 p.m. Dr. Ushika will come and talk to you about the OBGPYQ. And if you're available free, just listen to it as well. Most welcome and do well. Don't worry. It's not a problem. You're done with the hard work. The hard work will definitely, definitely give some things back to you, right? So the amount of work you put, there's no element of luck here. Luck always follows the mighty. So don't worry about it. Don't get too much anxious, too much tensed. Set your streamlined goal. Set your day. Give these three GTs compulsory, five sections, 40 question each. And I hope you'll do very well, fine? All the very best, guys. So I'm signing off now. So get, go back, maybe have a cup of coffee and come back for 6 p.m. Your OBG session. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Lydia, my life will be around uh, 5 to 6, I think. I'll, I'll update you. I think it's 5 to 6 or 6 to 7. I'll update you for sure. It'll be in the same channel around that time.